Welcome back coding fans. Today we're looking at checking for equal values and our goal is going to be to collect as many gems as there are switches. Uh, so if we're looking at our board, looks like we have two switches and several gems. We'll go ahead and run it and see that everything is randomly placed um, and we cannot get to the switches. That's not our goal. Our goal is to just collect as many. Uh, we are already given some code uh, it says let switch counter equal number of switches so that gives them the predetermined number of switches uh, and we will collect that many gems so the first thing we need to do is let our character know let hopper know he's got to count some stuff what is he counting so the variable that we're going to be counting we're going to have a gem counter gem capital c o u n t e r using good camelback notation uh, and our value we start off with zero of them all right so we have two things that are we have one thing to keep track of but two things to compare we don't have a specific number we have a random number of switches that we don't get to choose so we're going to use a comparison operator uh, so we're going to say all right while the gem counter so we could say two things, is not equal to or is less than. Both will work. So while the gym counter is less than the switch counter, this will get it to stop when we've collected as many gems as there are switches. A lot of times with code, uh, our big deal is not getting it to run, it's getting it to stop. Um, so while gym counter is less than the switch counter, uh, we're going to move forward. And we're gonna check each space for a gem because it appears that they appear randomly and uh, will appear after it's run. They all don't pop up at once. So as you can see in this one, we need to collect two, but only one is up. That means it'll randomly pop up. So move forward and we're gonna to check to see. We're gonna check if we are on a gem. If Hopper is on gem, we want to collect the gem and then count it. So we're gonna to need to increment our gem counter. Gem counter plus equals one. So this gets them to move forward. If we're on a gem, we're gonna collect and count it. And then we're moving around in a circle, it looks like. Um, so it should be pretty simple. When we get to the end, um, if he is blocked, Let's just get Hopper to turn right, and then we'll just keep kind of moving along. I'm gonna clean up my code a little bit, get rid of the unnecessary spaces, um, and let's go ahead and run our code and see what's up. All right, we need a lot. So we need eight of them, and we're just rolling around, um, and they're randomly popping up. Speed it up a little bit more. Got eight of them to collect. So we'll just keep rolling. And there we go. And that's all there is to it. Pretty simple code, just a while loop with a couple of if statements in there. And we're ready to go. All right. See you next time.